Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As always, we are starting off with the gold daily chart, and we can see our story remains the same. The market has truly consolidated. We're sticking in between the 1660 range down to about 1560. And we can see our 20 moving average acting as resistance. And again, you can see our 1660 here that we're watching. The market has made a little move up here and putting in a little uh, consolidation here at the 20 moving average. And then we're kind of consolidating here also. We can see on our market profile, the market making a nice little move up here. But it's, it's accumulating volume. It's not a big move up. Well, we got a little move here. But for the most part, it's it's consolidate, move, consolidate, move, consolidate, move. And then we consolidated for that entire day. And then you can see that today's action here matches up with what we have going on over here back on the 18th. So, you know, that is the market consolidating. And we're waiting for something, some type of catalyst that's going to move us in one direction or other out of this range. Now, with the gold consolidating, what does that mean for our currency pairs? Well, first, let's take a look at uh, the euro dollar. Uh, let me shrink this down to make sure we have both. There we go. And here we can see the euro dollar uh, after it pulled back and breathed a little bit, st stayed sandwiched within the 20 and the 50 moving average. Now, today, pushing up, retesting our 1.397 price line. Also, we got the 200 moving average that we're watching there. So, it's going to be interesting to see. We did get some nice volume in with that, today's action, which got us above the 50 moving average. And you can see that that was acting as resistance here. We paused here, and we got the volume that we needed to get above that. So, our next uh, point of entry here is going to, again, going to be around 1.397. As we come over to our one hour time frame, we can see uh, we are in a sell zone. Our trend line that we've been watching still acting as resistance. So we'll have to see that. But we're in a sell zone. Um, we can see that the euro is in control. And we got a little divergence here. You can see the euro going up, dollar coming down, which allowed us to get this little push up. But now we're consolidating a little bit. Overall, the euro is going sideways, but the dollar really tanked up, down here uh, the last couple hours. Our indicator is in the neutral zone, so it's going to be interesting, especially as we get close here to our resistance of 1.3976. Will uh, will we continue to move higher, or will this sell zone um, kind of weigh in and uh, bring the probabilities of us moving back to neutral? Now, the euro dollar has been uh, made the bigger move. Uh, it moved up, tested the 50, came back, and moved up. What we'll see here with the pound dollar is that it never made it to the 50 moving average, um, held up with the 20 as a, a, a support price level, and then the past two days, now it made big moves to catch up. All this, of course, on light volume, but now it's kind of caught up to where the euro dollar is. Here we can see that it is in a sell zone way above a long-term moving average, but just fractionally, the pound is in control. Uh, really, we have a lot of snaking on this. A lot of snaking on this. And the one area where we got a little divergence right here is where we got to move up. And now we're snaking again. Although the pound is moving sideways, the last move, whoops, 
the last move was up and of course as we said before the dollar tank in the neutral zone we'll have to see again if the probabilities of us being a sell zone will pan out we do have more room to run here uh, to catch up here to the 200 moving average uh, and you can see this 200 moving average right here matches up with what we have going on right here so that's definitely something to watch as far as our next target finally we'll look at the dollar franc and we had some key events here. We broke through our support of 0.8923 and we broke through our downturn line. So now will the 250 moving act as support? Uh, definitely got to watch that. Now we also have this little swing low here to watch will match up with the 250 moving average. But our overall range is 0.85 up to 0.93. Here we can see we're in a buy zone below our long term moving average. The franc is in control, so as long as that's happening, we will continue to push lower. And as we've seen, here's our franc that was going sideways, but made a nice little spike up here as the dollar spiked down, still in a neutral zone with buyers being in control. As we come to today's watch list, we're starting off first with the low volatility watch list, which is our one hour time frames using Bollinger Bands. And we're watching high and low of the bands, looking for a break, uh, break of those bands, preferably in the direction of the trend. And right now, we'll be watching for the dollar yen. Coincidentally, our inside bar watch list is watching today's range, the high and the low of today's entire trading range, and comparing it to that of, of the previous day, which will be Friday. And for that, we'll also be watching the dollar yen. Now, this is interesting because uh, the dollar yen has been coming up on our watch list for seven days there. So that means it's it's compacting. It's really the range is tightening. And when it finally does make a move, in the trend or not, it's probably going to make a nice move. As we move on to our education spotlight, we've been talking about trading plans and how to make your trading plans. And one of the most important aspects of trading and your trading plan is make sure that you've taken the time to educate yourself about the different vehicles and making sure whatever vehicle you choose aligns with your goals and more importantly who you are as a trader. Now you can look at that two ways. First, are you going to trade stock forex futures or option? But in addition, within the, those genres, are you going to be an end of day trader? Are you going to be a day trader? Are you going to be a swing trader? Are you going to be a breakout trader? Are you going to be a pullback trader? There's all these different strategies and vehicles that you can choose but you have to find a one that matches who you are to trade it so that you can trade it free of emotions, free of guilt, free of fear, so that you can be a successful trader. As you know, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? We have our free uh, course on trading. Uh, it helps you give you a frame for the market, what should be a part of high probability trading, how you can put different aspects of trading and come up with a good trading setup. Hopefully this will give you a gauge to who we are as coaches, how we can help you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we'll help you develop that trading plan. We'll help you develop what vehicle best matches for you as a trader and how to frame the market into a nice high probability trading setup. Rebase for your trade, it doesn't change the conditions or your spreads. It's just cash rebase for your trade. And finally, if you're looking for signals, we have that too. Based upon the vehicle that you want to be driving, uh, we can give you those providers match who you are as a trader. You can get the signals to trade it for yourself or have it traded automatically. In the end, it doesn't make a difference about your system, your indicator, or if you recognize high bullet trading, if you're trading or if you're driving somebody else's car. You gotta feel comfortable in your car. You know when you get in your car and, it, and, it, and it, the seat fits you and, and where you have the mirror fits you. When you're in somebody else's car, you have to adjust. And when you adjust, you're changing the system, you're changing the setup, and therefore, you're changing the results. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.